All right, we'll talk about some ceramic CPUs. I mean, you can get a nice board like this. It has a, good, a few good ones. The most valuable CPUs are ceramic CPUs are the ones with the gold caps on them. Watch out. You know, it was a good board. This didn't come with it. I just put it on there. And this is a DEC. So this guy is very high gold recovery. Got a few more of those, but I thought I'd just show you the board about what they can look like. See, these are pressed in there pretty good, but they do come out. All right, get the board out of the way. All right, so you got some AMD K5s, my school Max. Sorry about my hands, they got stained on the deuce of half. K5 AMDs. Beautifuls. So this is actually a processor. Some more. Show you a variety of them. See, this is a pinless. These are nothing special. And as you can see, underneath some of the caps, I don't believe that is gold bond wire. But... Some little ICs have gold legs. Got your cheap AMD ceramics. Even cheaper AMD ceramics. These guys are awful. Black fiber Intel CPU. Uh, these go for a good chunk of change on eBay. Especially these ones. Right. A lot of them have little windows where you can see if they have gold bond wires or not. This one, I took the cap off. And yes, there is gold bond wires. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. Nope, not going to focus. And then these little guys, tried breaking a few of these up. They are like stones. <laughs> And then there's even these even smaller little guys right there. It's kind of a collection. And then we're going to talk about the mother of all CPUs. The most overrated or is it the most valuable? <laughs> uh, behold, the Intel Pentium Pros. My God. Now these guys have... Some of the best gold recovery rate. You can get anywhere between 0.2 grams to close to 0.4. Definitely over 0.3 for the 512Ks. These collected over the years. But at this point, it's you'll make more money selling these on eBay than you would to process them. Because some of these are going for $100, $200 a piece if they're in pristine condition, especially the 512s. You've got to have good legs not bent. But these are the holy grails of CPUs. I get a lot of people would say they are overrated. They're definitely expensive. If you were to go and buy some of these on eBay, you're, you're paying at least 50 bucks a piece. But they do reward you with 0.3 grams of gold. I'll go into a video. I should have uh, done this a lot sooner. I had not, not, I processed like 10 of these. But I had a whole bunch of Intel, Pentium processors, a whole bunch of AMDs. But I processed them all. So these guys have been building up for quite some time now. But look at that sea of ceramic gold. Tell me what you guys think. And last thing I wanted to point out is you would need this entire box of cheap green fiber CPUs. Which these are abundant. They're everywhere. There is gold legs on them. 
but I don't think you actually get any gold. But you would need, especially these ones. These ones are awful. There is a, 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 the successful engineer on YouTube. Check him out. He is awesome. He's everything down into individual what you would get for gold, what they would cost individually. But you would need to process this entire box to get the same amount of gold from a few of these. So just put it in perspective. My most precious possession. <laughs> yes, yes, you are worth more of these weight in gold, huh? King. A rag doll. Suggest everyone gets a rag doll. They are the cutest. Called puppy cats. Puppy cats. Eat puppy cat. Hey, it's a What are you doing? 